There's excitement building in Portugal this weekend as Pope Francis presides over World Youth Day. Hundreds of thousands from all over the world flock to the capital for the largest nearly week-long Catholic jamboree. The Pope was greeted like a rock star in what some describe as the Catholic Woodstock. Tomorrow he'll deliver the final Youth Day Mass in Lisbon. One million people are expected to attend. Today the Pope took a brief excursion from the capital where he was expected to pray for peace as war rages on in Ukraine. Chris Livesay is there. Good morning from Fatima, one of the most venerated shrines to Mary in all of Catholicism. Pope Francis has turned out record crowds to World Youth Day, but he has not shied away from the biggest black eye of the Catholic Church. Each year, millions of pilgrims travel here to Fatima, Portugal, where they believe the Virgin Mary appeared before three shepherd children in 1917. Today, more than a century later, Francis has inspired hundreds of thousands of young people from around the globe to come to World Youth Day. Something no one else could do. Not even today's biggest pop stars, says Ada Maria Ortega from the Bronx, New York. So many people, like right now, like they're going to like the J concert, but we're all here from all over the world to see the Pope. They're among the nearly 30,000 young Americans who have crossed the Atlantic to attend this Catholic Woodstock, spending thousands of dollars per person to get here. A tall order for most. It does not feel real. And nothing short of a miracle for others, says Irvana Pereira Gassant, who came with her brother and sister and the baby she's expecting. Can you tell me why you're yes. so emotional? Sorry. I'm emotional because we were, we were raised by a single mom. We were like stressed because we were like, I don't know how we're going to be able to afford it. It was like a miracle where we had a check come in the mail. And that same day, my mom said she put it down at the altar, and she's like, we're able to go. But there were ugly stories as well. On his first day of the festival, Pope Francis addressed a report issued earlier this year that said nearly 5,000 minors had been sexually abused by Portuguese clergy since the 1950s. The pontiff chastised bishops here for the scandals that have marred the church and demanded survivors be accepted and listened to. In fact, shortly after speaking with Portuguese bishops, Pope Francis met privately behind closed doors with 13 of those survivors. Now his words underline just how much the Catholic Church continues to grapple with these ongoing scandals and how to move forward. For CBS Saturday Morning, Chris Livesay, Fatima, Portugal.